Martin Luther King Jr. or the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Um, we do have a craft for you today. In your bag, you're going to get a silhouette of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s head. And also in your bag, you're going to have some of our very own headlines. And by our, I mean um, the Lexington Herald Leader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Headlines that we tracked with the nation during the time that all these events happened. Yes. And so. We also have some more cutouts um, of different images that related to his life. Um, and we're just going to talk a little bit about him. Um, so, let's go through our bag. So, uh, Martin Luther King was born in 1929. Yes, January the 15th, 1929. And so, um, we celebrate, a, I think it's a federal holiday. It is. Um, every January that's kind of falls near his birthday. reasons why um, I he's probably my hero is he was one of the main leaders of the civil rights movement in the 50s and 60s in this country um, and he advocated for nonviolent means of protest so what does that mean that means that he encouraged people who wanted to make change in the country to do so in a way that was peaceful and yet still visible yes um, so it was a very powerful way of, of almost confronting uh, the racism that was in this country. That was going up, yes. Because if you can imagine, and for that time, t television was newer. Mm -hmm. And so if you can't fight with guns and you can't fight with the other means that people think of normally fighting, what did they do? Well, they would go into a lunch counter where black people were not allowed and take up the space and receive all the horrible treatment and stand up to it but in the way that they just sat and we have an image if you look through your um all of your uh, little different images that we've cut out we have an image of lunch counters i actually got to see that in uh, washington dc and it is something well i'm going to add that to mine and yes. so that's what we're doing is we're just looking through the images and adding things that are important to us. Right. Which ones speak the loudest or speak the most to you. And so, so kind of what we want to do today is just give you the who, what, when, where, and why of Martin Luther King. When? She already said that. 50s and 60s. 50s and 60s. also where, and it was mainly in the South. He did, after he rose to more prominent positions, go outside of the South and took the message. And why? For you know, he actually, he did come to Frankfurt. Um, yes. So there was, you know, a local protest that he was involved yeah. in. Let me see if I have, ah, yes, mm -hmm. I do. I have an image. Um, the headline says, estimated 10,000 integrationists demonstrate peaceably at Frankfurt. So I am going to put that on my... And just talking about the why, obviously equal rights goes without saying. And yes, this was mostly in protest of the horrible treatment of uh, blacks in the South. But what we don't realize is that a lot of other underserved populations and underserved communities have also benefited from the civil rights movement. So it's not just for black people. It was started because the treatment was so horrible for black people, but it has helped all of us to um, have better and more equitable uh, rights in our country. The best known speech by Martin Luther King was I Have a Dream, which he delivered on August 28, 1963 at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. So probably most of you all are familiar with the I Have a Dream speech. Yes. Um, and so we have some quotes from it. Um, and there's one that I think speaks. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident 
that all men are created equal. And in that, they're, they're meaning men is in humankind, not, <laughs> not just men. Not just guys. <laughs> yeah. So are there any images that you really liked? So, I, of the images that I saw, this one really just, the Freedom Parade, because I love that they have the flag, because, you know, I guess sometimes people think that when people have different opinions, that means that they're not patriotic. In fact, I would say that is not the truth. People who have very different opinions are showing just how much they love their country because they're fighting to try to make it better. So I love that this is the American flag and it is standing for a freedom parade. This flag is also saying that this person was there for the I Had a Dream speech. That's awesome. The other thing that I did learn when we were like prepping for this uh, craft is that that was not the first time that he was in Washington uh, uh, at the Washington Monument to, to give a speech. He, oh, really? Yeah, he had been there, and his first one there was giving a speech about voting rights in 1957. So in the 50s, it kind of inspired and in coordination, I think, with uh, Rosa Parks. Mm -hmm. He helped um, lead a boycott against uh, the bus system in Montgomery, Alabama. Yes. Um, and so basically this was a time, and I don't know if you all realize this, when um, people that were black were told that they had to sit into the back of the bus and then people who were white were given the front seats. Uh, and so that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so we, what happened was um, many people led this together, but he was involved with protests against that, and they located the bus. Before 1956, local laws in Montgomery, Alabama said that African American passengers sat in the back of the bus and white passengers sat in the front. If there were no more seats in the front, African American passengers had to give up their seats. In 1955, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a white passenger, causing a bus boycott that lasted 381 days. The protest of the Montgomery, Alabama bus system led to a 1956 Supreme Court decision against the city's segregation laws on buses. They wanted to have a more organized way to produce the result. Because again, TV was newer at this time. And, you know, all these things were happening to black people on a regular basis. Lynching, the number one reason that drove people to want to have a civil rights movement was there were black people hanging from trees all over the South. It wasn't just happening in the South, but it was definitely without precedent and it was just the way it was in the South. People hanging from trees, you, I mean, you know, people being accused, black people being accused of doing things that they didn't do or talking back. You, you know, they weren't allowed to disagree with white people. They weren't allowed to have their own thoughts and speak them out loud. And if they did, sometimes that ended in death. And so you had just all of these pop-up events that were happening all over the South and really all over the country. And it just reached a fever pitch and produced this angst that was stop killing us basically. <laughs> And so that brought about the need for this movement. Yeah. We, and, and it pushed forward the humanity of black people as humans, believe it or not. We have not always in this country recognized that black people were humans. And so it is because of the civil rights movement that now most of us would not ever have a thought that a black person is not a human. But there was a day when that was true in this country. Yeah. So. Actually, um, Dr. King, he had already decided or decided that using nonviolent protests, yeah. which is, by the way, does include violence, it's just they, the people who are protesting aren't the ones committing think, it. Yes, they are not committing the violence. So, um, it, it's a big risk to, to take that, um, to do that. But um, somebody who inspired Dr. King was um, Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. Um, and he was a social activist in India 
who also started to show people about nonviolent protests. Yes. Um, so I have an image of him. I'm going to put that on here. So the other thing, this is says it more succinctly for me. This is a sign. I think that says says it all. Now we've been talking a lot about the difficult events in Dr. King's life. Um, but I, we also have a picture of, um, of Dr. King with his wife, who Coretta Scott King, an activist in her own right. And we have several books here, too. Yes. Um, I think Desert that, Rose, yes. Yeah, about her. And she was a singer, um, actually, uh, but she was also, also an activist. I know that she picked up the legacy where Martin Luther King left off after his assassination. Mm -hmm. so, yes. And I don't think, I don't think that he ever thought he was going to live a long life. I really don't. Well, I do have a quote that I will go ahead and read, and it didn't, it seemed like he knew more than us. And there might be reasons for that, mm -hmm. <laughs> literal reasons for that. Um, and I'll read this. He says, I just want to do God's will, and he's allowed me to go to the mountain. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. So in that statement, I think there definitely was a foreshadowing of I may not be able to enjoy these rights that we are right now fighting for. Yeah. So yes, uh, Martin Luther King, he was assassinated in 1968. Yes. Um, and that was in Memphis. I think. Yes, at the Lorraine um, my happiest memory of or, or Dr. Martin Luther King, but it is important. Um, and so we have a little sign about the mass memorial for him. Um, so I'm going to add that to my little thing. Were there any other images or quotes that stuck out for you? I'm going to say, what, let me see. I love this one. We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. Um, this is another one. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. And so for me, it's always important whenever we talk about the civil rights movement and any civil rights leader, for us to understand that civil rights doesn't just affect black people or brown people or the, just um, you know people of color it is the state of our world all of us black brown white and Asian anyone's culture who is not the majority culture in this country mm -hmm. we are affected by civil rights and you think about the movement for women mm -hmm. to be considered whole humans with all the rights all of that was supplemented and forged ahead with civil rights. And I think as a, as a whole country, we, we lose when we are not giving our citizens um, access to equal treatment and, and access to resources that are important for everybody. Right. Um, and so that's, I think of Dr. Martin Luther King not just as a hero for black people, just a hero, an American hero to me. That's how I think of him. And I think that's one reason we have that, the national holiday. Um, the first one was in 1986. So fun fact we will end with, most of you probably didn't know that he was not born Martin Luther King Jr. He was born Michael. Yes. <laughs> um, one thing I did want to mention, so you have your packet and feel free to actually cut um, if you want to say, add something of your own. Um, I don't know, something like, 
make peace. Yeah. <coughs> um, you can add that as well. I know yours is really good. <laughs> Mine is a little sparse. <laughs> Yolanda's is sparse there. right now. <laughs> That's okay. Going for the two. Yes. So this is what mine looks like. Um, and if you'll hold your breath. So like, you see how full hers is? If you lose any of the definition, you can go around with oh, you know, yeah, and yeah. bend it back around it so that you keep the, the silhouette of his face. Yeah. If you don't feel like you want to use all of your images on here, if you have a white um, pencil, mm -hmm. colored pencil, you can write things on there. And I did that, I just couldn't find it in time for our video. But it writes really well on here. So you can write the things, or write what you think about what we've talked about here today, what you think about civil rights, or what you think about um, Martin Luther King's uh, imprint in, in on today is. Yeah. And we have lots of um, books and other materials. I think in the video we're going to also give you the link to the full I Have a Dream speech um, if you're interested in listening to it. I, I hope you all enjoyed today. Um, feel free if you have any questions for us. Um, we're always, we we'll always answer any kind of question about um, the civil rights movement or Martin Luther King's life or, or any other, any, any yeah, questions anything. that you might have that we can look up for that you. Can, yeah, that we can find out the truth, we can do it. So, so thank you guys. Yes.